Existing electronic books boast excellent display quality, long battery lives, and thin and light form factors, but these existing devices don't do a very good job supporting the rich variety of navigation people perform while reading. In addition to proceeding linearly through a document, readers also perform local navigation tasks like flipping back to reread content and also expanding their reading area to get an overview. Readers also perform global navigation to find a specific location in a document. Other tasks require inter-document navigation, in which readers interact with multiple documents at the same time. Using an iterative design process, which included paper prototypes, instrumented props, and high-fidelity prototypes, we explored how having two displays can better support the navigation tasks associated with reading. The increased display area of our device allows users to easily obtain an overview of the content and quickly glance back to reread. We now switch to a different document to more clearly demonstrate the navigation controls of the reader. In addition to the conventional controls like the trackballs, users can change the page by fanning one of the faces. This allows for a more lightweight style of navigation that does not require the user to locate small controls. Our device also allows users to fold one face behind the other to make the device more compact, something that cannot be done with a single large display. In the back-to-back -back configuration, flipping can be used to rapidly access and switch between adjacent pages of content. Depending on which direction the device is flipped, repeated flips either advance or rewind the document. Users in our evaluation commented that a dual display device made it easier to discover new content to read, as well as to look up names and places that were mentioned earlier in the text. To perform global navigation, users can call up space-filling thumbnails to rapidly locate and jump to a page of interest. In larger documents, where thumbnail size is small, an enlargement of the highlighted thumbnail is displayed on the side. Pressing down on the trackball changes to the highlighted page. To facilitate working with several documents at once, the faces of our device can be split up into semi-independent displays. Different documents can then be viewed or compared simultaneously without having to switch windows. Detached faces can be arranged in a convenient and ergonomic fashion suited to the content at hand. One situation where this becomes useful is when viewing documents with different aspect ratios. If the extra display area from the second display is desired, like in the case of this two-page map, the faces can be snapped back together, at which point the device seamlessly transitions back to providing a two-page view of the document. In this video, we have briefly highlighted some of the different types of navigational activities people perform while reading. We've also demonstrated several features that take advantage of the unique properties of a dual display reader to support these activities. We believe these features illustrate why dual display devices offer a promising means for improving the electronic reading experience.